I'm very excited and honored to be the event planner for Wake Up Nashville, a fundraiser to bring awareness to narcolepsy. This is one of Nashville's first major eco-friendly events, and some of the things that we are doing to keep it eco-friendly are having finger foods instead of having to wash utensils to save water. We are going to have recycling out so that if anyone needs to dispose of paper that they can recycle instead of throwing it in the trash can. And something that I'm super excited about is the lighting because utilizing the LED lights, which makes the Country Music Hall of Fame so beautiful at night after the sun sets, is it saves a lot of power. Another green element that we are utilizing is the transportation. The Country Music Hall of Fame is centrally located in downtown Nashville, so our guests can walk to the event. There's many hotels in the downtown area that makes it super convenient. There's also a train that guests can take if they choose not to drive, which obviously helps save on the environment. Balfour Beatty is one of the co-sponsors of Wake Up Nashville, which is a fundraiser and showcase for songwriters in the Nashville community and across the United States. So we've had uh, song entries from as far away as New York, Canada, California, Nebraska, and then here locally we've got some universities participating. So it's going to be an exciting night and we've got some special people coming too. Since we are green in our day jobs, um, we try to carry that through in the events that we sponsor or our employees are engaged in. And so Wake Up Nashville, we tried to pick a facility that could do a lot of the green things that we feel are important to promote in what we're doing. So. This facility, for example, the Country Music Hall of Fame, it has great natural daylighting. They're going to be able to use utensils and things that they can reuse. We're not going to do a lot of banners and things that are one-time print, printed materials, but we'll be doing projections on the walls using lighting and other things that will not waste paper and resources. I'm actually part of the U.S. Green Building Council, Middle Tennessee chapter. I'm on the board of directors, and I've had the opportunity to attend two very large events uh, in the last couple years related to their national meeting, which has about 30,000 people at these events. And last year's was in Chicago, which is a very green city in itself. They promote a lot of sustainability there for a city that size. Um, so they want, they were really promoting, you know, everything that to, to do with the meeting to be as sustainable as possible. And, you know, especially with the downturn in the economy. Uh, in 2007, 2008, when gas prices went way up, uh, people had hit their pocketbooks and they realized, well, hey, how can I save money on gas? And and you know, try to. You know, that's when I think a lot of people start looking at different transportation options. And you know, even from electricity heating homes, I mean, natural gas prices went up too. So people wanted to start doing things at their own homes to conserve energy. A green event really brings home the idea of what can we give back for what we take. And so when you have a green event, you're going to have materials that are reused and you're really emphasizing on what we're looking at, which is Wake Up Nashville and finding new cures for narcolepsy. So the green event, I think, is part of a sustainable approach to making our lives better. I think it's very important for cities and companies to incorporate sustainability. But nowadays it's really not just about sustainability, which has been the buzzword for the last 10 years. Mm -hmm. It's really about efficiencies. And so if a company or a city promotes itself as doing green business or sustainable business, what they're really talking about is saving money. So here we have the National Energy Works campaign that's going on through the mayor's office to help do energy efficiency retrofits in homes. And we're also talking about larger places like TVA, for example where they're greening their existing buildings and greening their supply chain so that they have a full life cycle analysis of how they can be better stewards of the environment and of the communities in which they work. When showcasing an event, I think one of the most important things is to go paperless, you know, as much as you can. People love to have that piece of paper in their hands, but when you can do things through electronic media, social media, word of mouth, you really get to the heart of people, and you have so many other opportunities with the types of media you can use. So I think taking traditional media and transitioning it, transferring those ideas into the new technology that's available is a great way and a great opportunity to broadcast a dream event. 
I do think that the awareness around sustainability has grown, especially over the past 12 months. It's just bringing awareness to the community and letting people know how can they make things better and how can they make a difference. And so I definitely think that the awareness is out there and people are paying more attention to what they're doing now.